हरे कृष्णा ओम ज्ञान मिरंधस्यानाशला ृगण नमस्ते सरस्वती गौरवाणी प्रचारण शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यण जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअदाधर शिवा साधु हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 Hare Krishna. So today we are going to read Shrimad Bhagavad Gita Aditi chapter fifteen, text nine. श्रोत्र चक्षुस्पर्शन चसन घाणमे चिष्ठा मनस्या विषयान्पसेवते श्रोत्र चक्षुस्पर्शन चसन घाणमे चिष्ठा मनस्या विषयान्पसेवते So, synonyms. Srotram ears, chakshu eyes, varsanam touch, cha also, rasanam tongue, dhanam smelling power, eva also. अधिष्ठा बींग सिचुएटेड इन मन माइंड चलसो अयम विषयान सेन सब्जेक्ट्स उपसेवते Endless translation. The living entity, thus taking another gross body, obtains a certain type of ear, eye, tongue, nose, and sense of touch, which are grouped about the mind. He thus endless. A particular set of sense subjects, but in other words, if the living entity adulterates his consciousness with the qualities of yard and dogs, in his next life he gets a yard or dog body and ends. Consciousness is originally pure. Like water, but if we mix water with a certain color, it changes. Similarly, consciousness is pure, or the spirit soul is pure, but consciousness 
which end according to the association of the material qualities real consciousness is krishna consciousness then therefore one is situated in krishna consciousness he is in his pure life but if he is consciousness he is adulterated by some type of material mentality in the next life he gets a corresponding body he does not necessarily get to him and body again he can get the body of a cat dog or demigod or one of many other form sir there are 84 sir there are 84 lakhs species <clears throat> so i think because this is purushottam mount is going on sanata ji is kindly arrange to uh, study the purushottam yoga in this purushottam mount otherwise it was in the beginning third chapter which is going on anyway much nice to discuss this purushottam yoga chapter in purushottam mount so <clears throat> uh in the previous to previous bars uh krishna told that manaha sasthana indriyani prakriti sthani kar sakti hmm. due to condition life they are they are struggling very hard with the six senses which include the mind so here this this same version is depicted here and the, all these uh, sense organs uh, taking shelter of mind adhishtaya mana cha ayan vishayan upasevate they are enjoying the sense subject because without mind the senses are useless they can't enjoy senses the senses are ready to enjoy only to the objects but they cannot rest they cannot enjoy without the help of mind so they are adhishtaya manasaya taking the help of mind only they can enjoy hmm. so or do all these sense organs are there shrutram chakshu sparsanam rasanam dhana all these things but without mind there is less hmm. so krishna has described krishna is describing here how the soul is transmigrating from one body to another body when the soul is transmigrating soul is pure and the consciousness is pure there is no doubt but both the soul and its consciousness they are they cannot go anywhere stagnant so they are moving from one body to another body it is already told in the previous verse hmm. just like the aroma carries by the uh, carry by the air hmm. air is carrying the aroma of power not carrying the power only the aroma of the power so similarly the air is uh, uh, connected to air is compared to our uh, sukma indriya mana buddhi ahankar this mana buddhi ahankar is subtle senses so they uh, like, like mind is carrying carrying so like the man with the anchor they are carrying they are carrying what and the consciousness and soul this consciousness and soul carried by 
the subtle senses. Hmm. So they are not carrying the body. Just like the, the, by the air, he is taking the aroma of the flower, not the flower. So this body is useless. Hmm. They are they're just carrying the um, consciousness. This consciousness is already contaminated in this previous body, in the previous mind, the previous uh, the, all these things we are observed in the uh, prakriti according to the three modes of nature. We are, we are busy in enjoying the sense subjects. So whatever state of consciousness we are in the previous body, so that same consciousness will be carried forward by the subtle senses, Manbudi Ankar, and will carry to the another new set of body. And in the new body, we will get another new set of sense organs. Same, we uh, will get uh, um, eye, ear, nose, tongue, and uh, this sparsendriya, something, all these senses, sense organs will get, but in different ways, you are getting a human body, you have uh, eyes, ears, uh, nose, tongue, you may not get the same type of thing, but there are 8,400,000 variety of body. So according to the law of nature, which body we are going to get, that is not in our hand. So law of nature will decide and we are forced to, according to the decision of the law of nature, we are forced to accept a new body and new set of sense organs. Who knows the, 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 where the eyes will be, where the ear will be, or ear are there or not. Uh, if you get a body of a serpent, there is no ears. The, 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 the serpent, they can uh, hear uh, through their eyes. They can see and they double them. They can see and they can hear both through the eyes. There may not be some uh, sutendri is may not be there. But mm -hmm. Tongue and uh, certain spasendriya, everything is there, but in different way. If you go to a different type of body, they are in different way. So, but these are there. These all sense organs are there in a different type, but all are there. And in this new different uh, types of sense organs, we will again try to enjoy the same object. The machinery uh, will be the, a little different way, but we will enjoy the same because the consciousness and the mentality is same. Mentality is same. Hmm. What we are enjoying in this human body, if this enjoying mentality is there, we are trying to uh, enjoy, we are busy in, try, uh, in enjoying the same subjects, through our sense organs. So if we are in similar state of mind, so the same state of mind consciousness will be transferred to another type of body and will do the same thing in, in that new sense organ and the new set of body. Maybe in a different way, but the work will say, punas punas charbita charvanana. Again, again and again achieving the choose. Many, many, many times, either in demigod body, or in an in insect body, or beast body, or bird body, or human body, or anybody, reptile, beast, whatever. The, the uh, enjoying spirit is same, and uh, the, the enjoying is same. Hmm? Eating, uh, sleeping, Mating and defending these four things, all these 8400,000 types of body they are busy in doing the same four kind of things, but their way of doing is different. Their way of doing is different, but they are busy in doing the same thing. Maybe what we are doing, they are also doing. So, so that's why these things are not new because we are so much high experienced in this eating, sleeping, mating and defending because in every life, in every body we are doing almost same thing, the body is changing but the 
mentality is not changing. The same thing in different body, the same work we are doing, same work. We are so, but these things uh, we are not uh, learning any courses. We, we know that. Just the sense organs will uh, become matured, then immediately we will got uh, the, all this will carry forward. We are expert how to use it, how to enjoy it. So that's what Krishna is telling. Uh, when we are in many people, they are thinking, uh, they are, their understanding is that this body finished means everything finished. Hmm. Buddha philosophy and all that. They believe in Nibbana means when the body is finished, then finished, everything gone. But uh, Bhagavad Gita says no, it's finished. Not going to finish. No, so this will. So, unless and until we are doing uh, by doing the uh, bhajana kriya, if we uh, not achieving our spiritual consciousness till that time just by changing the body we are not going to get free from this bandhan no the condition will continue the condition stage will continue as the body continues the body will change this body will finish you will get a new set of body new set of sense organs so all these things will continue Unless our consciousness is purified, unless an until consciousness is purified, so this conditioning will continue. No question of conditioning stop. So we can only change our conditioning and get free from these clutches of Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, all this function free only through process of free. The process of bhakti, we have to purify our consciousness. Once consciousness is purified, purified consciousness means the purified consciousness is Krishna consciousness. This is pure consciousness. So, if, if we through the process of bhakti, if we purify and we are settled in Krishna consciousness, then that's it. Then, uh, then as Krishna also told in Bhagavad Gita, and, uh, for nine to nine, he said, Janma Karma Chame Dibyam Evam Nidhi Pratataha Tektva Deham Punar Janma Na Iti. No. Then he will give this body, of course, the body has to be given. Hmm. That's for sure. But that's the last. After giving this body, he will not get again this kind of body. What will happen? Tektva Deham Punar Janma Na Iti. Punar Janma No. No further again bath, then what happened? I have come to my mom. We will go to the spiritual path. Then that's it. That, then that is the full stop of the conditioning. Then no more conditioning will be fully spiritually bliss for it now. So un unless and until we achieve this thing, our conditioning will go on. No change. Only the change of body will be there. Um, as long as the consciousness is not changed, consciousness is not purified. So the conditioning state will continue. No question of uh, change is there, but only change of body is there. Uh, only body and place and circumstances may change, but the same enjoying spirit, enjoying mentality, and sinful mentality 
and uh, this uh, this uh, uh, eating sleeping getting depending we shall go on yes. and uh, uh, this pritapa will again suffer and suffer and suffer suffer continue hmm? will continue suffering so that's what is really a good thing that in, we will get different type of srotra different type of chakshu different type of person different type of rasanam um, and dhana but it will be there and uh, uh, taking uh, the help of mind we will engage uh, again enjoying this and such this is not only again we will enjoy because with this practice we had the same thing we carry forward again doing that so Prabhupada is telling just, telling just like our uh, consciousness is exactly like water. Water is pure, but if you uh, adulterate it, you mix any color into it, so whatever color you add to water will become that, it looks like that color. So exactly our consciousness, so whatever mental state we have, mentality we have, so that kind of uh, Consciousness will have. Consciousness will immediately change. Hmm. So our business is to uh, purify it. Hmm. Purify it till to achieve fully Krishna consciousness. That is the, uh, especially this is the beauty of human being. It is no other entity, though they have all this kind of facility, but only doing bhakti facility is not available in any other body. It is only available in human. This is the space out. So that's why it's very rare to get human body. So it's the only thing we have to do here. So now, uh, so one thing you can see is Sotram. First uh, sense it says Sotram, that means ear, hearing. So this is very important. This uh, Sudhi India. It's so important. Even in Jnana Marga, Karma Marga, Bhakti Marga, Yoga Marga, any Marga you go, anywhere, this is so important. Even if you go to anybody, even, what is speak of Human Body? Human Body is it? Human Body it is Suti Indriya, it is past Indriya, by which we can build our consciousness and change and whatever you can achieve, the past and foremost, Important sense are done in city in India. In any other body, also, that's a very, very important sense are done. Sotram. That's why it's always fast things from Sotram. In our Bhakti process, also, the first uh, phase is Savanam. Savanam can only be done to Sutindriya. Sutindriya. And Suti is the name of. Vedic knowledge because uh, without hearing, you cannot get knowledge. You can't get knowledge without hearing. So, though sometimes we read from the books, but what we read, that's also written form of Sriti. This is Sabda. Sabda in a living form, we can read that. And Sabda is connected with the Sriti in Vriya. Sriti. So, so from. So this is very important. So in whichever process you follow, either karma, jhana, yoga, dhamma, bhakti, whatever process, this is so important to utilize this sutindriya. So if we use this sutindriya properly, then we will get radical change in, in our mentality, in our behavior, in our thinking, feeling, winning, in our mentality, and it will help to purify our consciousness very effectively. The Sutandriya, Suti Indriya. Mm. So <clears throat> that's why uh, in the beginning, Tadhanama Brahmana Adhi, mm. hearing and chanting, hearing. And uh, this Suti Indriya is very much connected with Vag Indriya. If somebody is not hearing properly, he cannot hear, a deaf person will definitely become dumb. 
he can't speak. Without hearing, he can't speak. In in a medical science, also it is proved that if somebody is not able to hear, he cannot speak. He can't speak. He cannot become only dumb without becoming deaf. Has to become deaf, then become dumb. Yes. Fast, but he is then mukha. But he is fast. And uh, similarly, sakhu. Sakhu is very much connected with the leg. Leg will not move until the eye is open. If you close your eyes, the your leg can't move much. It is connected very much with eyes. Yes. And not only that, if you put some oil, apply oil in your leg, in your palm. Uh, yes, in your leg, under the neck, your leg. Then you will get the effect in your eyes. Effect in your eyes. Mm. They said if you put mustard oil in the nail of in the long stick, so you will get the effect immediately in eyes. Or very much connected. Mm. And uh, so all these. Uh, connected, so this Sruti Indriya. So, um, uh, in when we trans transmigrates from one body to another body, uh, so this is the process that our consciousness will be carried by these subtle senses, our Manavadi Hanka, uh, to a new body, and this new body we will get. This sutra, chakus, parsana, rasana, grana, all these, uh, all these organs we get, and utilizing this with the help of mind, we we'll again start our enjoyment, enjoying the leisure. So now the question is, uh, we can understand by this uh, verse, of, uh, by this uh, uh, instructions of Krishna, that how. In this material world, all these uh, living entities, they are only busy in enjoying the senses, sense organs, to their senses, enjoying these objects, sense organs. So, this is our conditioning, this is our problem. In reality, we are not the enjoyer. We are not the enjoyer. Then how? Who we are? What we do? We are a servant. We are not angel. Krishna is angel. Bhakta Aram Jagyata Pasam Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. He is Bhakta. We are not Bhakta. We are Bhogya. We are Sevak. So, but then why this same servant is given to us? Or Baba, this same servant is given to us to help in doing the service, not to enjoy, to help us to perform the service to the Lord. In this year, in this sutra, so we are hearing the nice songs for our anyone. No, we should hear the glories of the Lord, the name of the Lord, past time the Lord. So that's why the sutra is given. Chakyu, uh, the same sargan, it's given to us just to have a wonderful uh, darshan of Sivigraha blood and Vidhama, Bhakta, whatever connected to the Lord. So this is Parchakti. Sparsanam, Tadgatra Sparsa, just somebody Maharaj told, all these sense organs can be utilized in a devotional way, in a spiritual way not to enjoy the same subject to the same subject. No. Savi Mana Krishna Padara Bandayu. In this verse, the Amaris Maharaj practically he engaged all his senses in so expertly and nicely in a spiritual way that Sarbendriya all indriyas, all sense organs are fully in Krishna conscious and engaged in the service of Krishna. 
करो तत् मंदिर मार्जना दूच साल दुशो ढाणा तत्द सौरभ मोमेंट वे आर starting enjoying same subjects so what we are getting we will never ever become satisfied not that the want to enjoy want of enjoying we will finish this will not diminish and we will not get satisfied that's for sure na aasa mitega na jalan mitega never this will never happen just like we are feeling thirsty in 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 dream if we take lot of juice and lot of water in dream then our thirst will quench we can we, we can we can quench our thirst by uh, drinking lots of uh, water or juice in our dream no you may drink lots of things in your dream but you will not quench your thirst no so like that in our this blunt senses if we just as much as you we enjoy to this blunt senses this material objects never ever you will be satisfied nor the want to enjoy the spirit of enjoying mental to will diminish no never because this is chaya it is not the, substance is not reality it's matter and we are spirit how can it be possible the spirit will be satisfied through matter it is not possible not possible how can it be possible that a fish can stay in a ac room and be satisfied no you give nice things from fish and all that and food he said why i am dying baba i put me in water similarly is water body so similarly we are spirit so we can never ever be satisfied in the matter we are anti matter we can be satisfied in the matter so our our satisfaction lies only in spiritual consciousness in spiritual world when we try to enjoy spiritually what is that to serving to the supreme spirit when through our uh, these senses uh, whatever sense organs we are we have if we use that in serving to the supreme spirit then the sense organs will be fully purified and through that our consciousness will be purified and then we will in this body also in this state of material position also Uh, we will enjoy this spiritual peace, and in the end of this body, when we take to our home, when we change the body, we will not accept another body. Rather, we will accept the spiritual body, not the material body, the spiritual body, and there you will be fully engaged. All your senses, the sutram, chakras, prasanam, dhanam, all this will be engaged in the service of the supreme spirit. So that should be our only job and goal and practice. And until and unless we uh, start this kind of project or process, if we busy in enjoying uh, through these senses uh, all the sense subjects, then uh, we'll never ever become satisfied because we have taken millions and billions of baths. And millions and billions of body, and millions and billions times we have uh, experienced enjoying these sense subjects to our sense organs in different different way in different different body, different different place and time. But uh, still, we are doing it. It is not 
we want to enjoy the the, the hankering of enjoy mentality the hunger will not uh, diminish neither will get satisfied no rupa goswami used to say you know and say so i am so shameless indriya patala oh all my senses is spilling over my mind my senses you have used me in many 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 bars many ways and you neither satisfied and neither i able to satisfy you. but still you are not throwing me away and i am also shamelessly engaged you but now i have come to my senses now this case of krishna is there so i will engage you. i will give up this job to serve hmm? to the senses so so in this transmigration process how again and again and again we are using the same sutra chakris prasanna rasanam dhana and just taking the help of mind adhishtaya manah and visayan upasevate and we are either in a cat or in a dog or in a snake or in a uh, insects or bees whatever body you get they are will get them sutra chakris prasanna rasanam dhana and we they are that sort of mind and we busy in and they that's all this we are doing and again and again maybe million many 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 times we are doing and this is the uh, this is what happening uh, this is what is not called mana sasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karsati so how is prakriti sthani when you when you transmigrate from this world to another what you do there by going there the same thing you do what enjoy busy in enjoy Vishayan Upasthevata, Vishayan subjects are there <laughs> and you will get a set of sense sargana and you will start enjoying that yes. and doing that again you will be engrossed in a new set of karma and entangled in this into matrix and again into bandits, again into conditioning, again into conditioning and it will go on. It will never ever finish. Never ever finish. so we are trying many many times we are trying to enjoy but we can't enjoy brother we are enjoyed hmm? without enjoying we enjoy we are thinking our time is past no no time passes hmm? so in this way krishna is teaching that how this uh, material body and we are changing this body how we are changing and achieving another body then what we are doing the same thing we are doing changing the chis puna puna sarvita sarva same thing we are doing so then krishna will further in the next verse he will tell that how those who are foolish unintelligent they cannot understand things understand these things but those who are really intelligent they can understand it and by understanding what they will do so then even again krishna will teach the final instruction krishna teaches unless and until you know the purusottama our journey will not complete our journey understanding things will continue till we understand the supreme the purusottam then we will then we sarva bhavena bhav then we do the process of bhakti by understanding the bhakti hare krishna is there any question or comment Hare Krishna, if you have a question or comment, you can raise your hand, you can unmute and ask a question.
I have a question, Maharaj. Yes. You gave the example of the fish out of water, how the yes. fish will never be happy because it's not in its natural environment. But yes. the one difference in the analogy is the fish knows it's not comfortable. But we're so it's stupid, we think we can become comfortable in the wrong situation. <laughs> Actually, so we're less, we, we're less intelligent than the fish. Yes, that's what Krishna next verse will be Mudha. We are not the Mudha. Mudha is intelligent. You are Bises Mudha. Ah. <laughs> Though we have experienced this uh, suffering billions of times, we live in, we are not coming to the senses. Yeah. That's why uh, this Purusutam Yoga, we are teaching this Purusutam in Bhagavad Gita. We have to take help of Shastra, Sadhu, Guru to understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Anyone else have any comments or questions? Okay, thank you very much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.